Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's take the latest news coming in from the camp of Ghana Black Stars players today at the Sehorse Park. It was Crystal Palace versus Manchester United in the English Premier League. And um, yes, Crystal Palace has halted Manchester United on that winning streak. Hot a paint. I have the details for you as the two Ghana boys were in action. That is Jeffrey Schlop and Jordan Pierre Ayu. The two of them made cameos and they helped their club side to get a draw in this particular fixture. I have the details for you on this channel. Then we are also going to talk about Ghana Black Galaxies. Yes, we can never forget them. Tomorrow, they have another game that it is a must win for Ghana. Ghana versus Sudan tomorrow is a must win for Ghana. What has actually happened? Let's talk about it on this channel. Before then, can you drop us a like? Please like the video after that. Make sure you smash on the subscribe button. You put on the bell for more updates on this channel. Today, in the English Premier League, it was a tough, tough, tough game that actually happened in there. It was Crystal Palace versus Manchester United. And the game ended 1-1, one, one, one all. In this game, Manchester United won the first half and Crystal Palace has to do the magic on the 90 plus one. Manchester United scored the first goal through Bruno Fernandes on the 43rd minute where Christian Eriksen actually gave him a very nice pass. He turned and smashed him a beautiful one on the 43rd minute to put the away side on the lead and on the 90 plus one just at the stroke of um you know um finishing everything at the Selhurst Park. It was Michael Olise who scored a fantastic free kick for Manchester United and um, for Crystal Palace rather to make sure that the game will end one all and um he didn't even celebrate that match and the two Ghana boys were in action one is Jordan Ayu he came on on the 71st minute the same as Jeffrey Schlob he also came on on the 71st minute so the two boys they didn't start today and Jordan Ayu after appearing on the 71st minute playing 90 minutes he did not score no assists he didn't even have shot on target or shot off target he had only one dribble attempt which wasn't successful for him he had only two touches that was shocking you know he had only two touches in the game key passes was none nothing nothing ground was he attempted two and one um none was even successful error was he went in for one he did not win it possession lost were two for him and his rating was really bad he got a rating of 6.3 just like in yaki williams as i brought you an update today and jordan you did not do much but he won one free kick for the club side which was quite okay jeffrey schlop also made an appearance on the 71st minute at the same time he played 90 minutes but he had um touches of 14 so um he had 14 touches but <laughs> jordan you rather had just some um, two touches in there that's according to so far score statistics so 14 touches for jeffrey Schlop. he got a rating of 6.8 which was above um you know jordan use own he had seven passes which that crazy was 77.8 percent and he also attempted three um ground wars he won two out of them then possession loss were two he made one foul he was fouled once he made one intercession and also made one tackle so that is some few things about um jeffrey schlop he is a black stars organist player even though he wasn't taken to the walker but we hope that the next coach will invite him to join the black stars of ghana so at the selhurst park it is crystal palace one manchester united one and manchester united now on the standings they are not you know going up again as they used to they are still at third position with 39 points out of 19 matches manchester united uh, manchester city has played one less as well as arsenal so let's wait and see how things will go and um, that's an update coming in from there now let's talk about the ghana black galaxies ghana black galaxies will be in action tomorrow versus sudan so tomorrow at 7 pm it is going to be ghana versus sudan in our group you know that morocco did not appear therefore calf has given ghana three points already um alongside the other teams in the group so tomorrow um, we are going into the game with three points but we lost our first game to madagascar so because of that madagascar will now get six points in the group already and ghana we must win the game tomorrow anything aside the win means that ghana we are packing our luggages and coming home and today the team trained at constantine exactly 7 30 pm that is the time the team trained today to prepare their self um for the game 
against Sudan tomorrow. So let's wait and see how things will go. The coach and also went for the pre match conference, and everything actually went on really well. He said that tomorrow is a must win, and he has already made it, made it clear that he is coming into this game with an entire new approach, a new team to make sure that the team is going to get the victory. So tomorrow at the start, Mohamed Hamlau Stadium, it is going to be Ghana versus Sudan at 7 p.m. Group C game. So let's wait and see how things will go. Sudan didn't play any game yet um, because their game against Morocco was called off. Therefore, they will face Ghana as their first game in Ghana. We need to get this particular three points come hot me. The coach at the Premier says that he is expecting a win and we all are also expecting a win in that particular game so the team trained today every player every single household player as well as you know the goalkeepers everyone is fit for the um tax ahead of us tomorrow i'll be bringing you more update tomorrow morning so just stick and stay with me for the probable 11 i'll drop it for you tomorrow on this channel so let me know what you think about it in the comment section don't forget to like the video subscribe put on the bell for more updates on this channel this was Kenny tv and of course we shall meet later